Hi guys, it's Bunny and welcome to today's video and welcome to another WWE reaction. This video was recommended by Crazy Karthik and he said, next watch Rock's catchphrase video. Is that a command? Did you just command a bunny? You know what happens when you do that? Good thing there was no exclamation mark at the end or else. I did actually find a video called The Rock's Greatest Catchphrases by Wrestling Flashback. I guess that's good enough. So let's go and check out this video, shall we? I love watching their videos. The Rock is without a shadow of a doubt the wrestler with the most catchphrases. His quick wit and unmatched charisma has spawned so many memorable and iconic sayings. It's easy to go out there and raise your voice and say, I'm gonna kick your ass and come this Friday night. Ah, anybody can do that. Any jabroni walking can do that, but no one can cut the type of promo that The Rock cuts and people see that. We're going to highlight them now as we rank The Rock's top 10 catchphrases. But before we begin, let's run through some honorable mentions. When the People's Champion wanted a match with another wrestler, he would challenge them to go one-on-one -on -one with the Great One. One on one with the Great One. One on one, one with the Great One. I should use that to balance. You will go one on one with the Great One. AKA the Rock also me. knew how to emphasize no, a point kidding. in his the promo, rock. while at the same time getting the crowd involved. <laughs> there ain't no way. And the rock means no way. You have no idea. And the rock means no. I love when I, he uh, like addresses himself as you have person. never. And the rock means <laughs> ever impress the rock. You'd be hard pressed to find this next combination of words being used together anywhere else but a rock promo. I am a Rudy Poo <laughs> candy ass. <laughs> Your Rudy Poo. <laughs> Candy ass. Uh, Bring your Rudy Poo candy asses. Rudy Poo. And oh when he wasn't talking about so other people's cool. asses, he was talking about his own private parts, Ooh. which he often referred to as the people strudel. To try some of the rocks. Strudel. Oh what's my this? god. What's this? Now I want to try Whoa, this. Thing. Okay. Besides being a talented Yo, wrestler no, and okay, movie star, the Brummer Ball was also a great rhymer, <laughs> making sure to pack a killer punchline. The jabroni <laughs> beat. Wow! <laughs> Pie trail blazing. An eyebrow raisin. Stronger than a bear, faster than a buck. The biggest thing to hit Canada because a maple leaf suck. Ooh, and if you've ever watched nice. a rock concert, then you know the People's Champ can sing too. The Rock wasn't just a great oh, yeah, WWF yeah. champion. He may have been the Very best damn WWF talented. champion that ever was. Without a shadow of a doubt, the best damn WWF champ there ever was. Without a shadow of a doubt, the best damn WWF champ yeah. there ever was. Without and a shadow of a doubt, the be. best damn WWF champion there ever was. was. When The Rock was and sure of something, he didn't just think, he I'm didn't just know, he so guaranteed. The Rock <laughs> guarantees to win Garen the Royal tea. Rumble. Eugene is going to whip Triple H's ass all over that ring. Guaranteed. In due Garen time, The Rock tea. guarantees. Once again, he will be WWF really. champion. The yeah. Rock also had a way of making people stop in their tracks. And when someone would come out with something questionable, he wouldn't have a problem calling them a sick freak. You sick freak! freak. You sick I love this freak. one so much. You sick freak! Sick. Freak. 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 Uh, sick. And how they like get triggered, like they, Freak. They, Freak. It's, then there was a like line that gave us one of the rock's most recognizable t-shirts. Just bring it, jabronis. Just bring it. Just bring, bring it. it. Oh my gosh! Just I love it. that movie. Just the rock bring will it. Still step right in the middle the of this ring and say, <laughs> Just bring, bring it. it on. Or something like that. And with that. Let's start the list. Number 10, Ooh. laying the smack down. We begin with a phrase so iconic that it spawned its own show and was put into the Oxford Dictionary. The People's Champion was the innovator of laying the smack down. No. As sure as the rock the is gonna lay it the smack it down on your candy ass. Lay it the smack it down on all their candy Laying the smack down on all your candy, candy asses. Yeah. The Rock looked at that jabroni and said he was gonna lay the smack 
down. It's The Rock and Ronda Rousey laying the smack down on your candy ass. Yes. Number nine, turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. When Rock used this line, any object was fair game. Just make sure to shine it up real nice. Shine it up real nice. nice. Turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. Take that little mannequin head, turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. The Rock is gonna take his boot. No, take both his boots. Turn them some sideways and stick them straight up your candy ass. Take that shovel, turn it sideways and stick it straight up your I am so sorry. <laughs> Oh my god! What was his name again? Mike Foley? Yeah, Mike Foley, okay. Oh my, I was so, I literally, uh, guys, my brain just went. I was like, uh, uh, Rick, something with F. Oh my god, I am getting early signs of Alzheimer, guys. It's a, it's a thing. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm just uh, self diagnosing myself here. Triple H! You got a three foot nose, you turn it sideways and stick it straight up Vince's ass! I'll roll it all up into a ball, turn that son bitch sideways and stick it straight up your rooty tooty fresh and fruity candy! Number eight, fresh imitation. As well as coming candy up with some ass. killer catchphrases Yo, yeah, of his own, are... Rock would also steal other people's catchphrases by imitating his opponents in hilarious but in a fashion. Fair, yeah, in a really well, funny, sarcastic slow. way. My name is Kane. This is how I imagine the haters Undertaker, and the hate comments. Come like, this down. is how they sound to me. Die, die, die. And all that stupid crap. I am the <laughs> gamer. I'm going to be talking uh, and saying absolutely nothing. Uh. I gotta get in my pickup truck, drink some Steve Weisers, listen to some Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Chico, Razor Ramon. <laughs> Big Daddy Cool, Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Mark Lloyd. Well, it's me, Mark Lloyd. This is my favorite. This is well, the best. Honestly, mm, he needs to make a movie like this. You can't see me. You can't see me when you're playing peekaboo. You can't see me. Number seven, the most electrifying <laughs> man in sports entertainment. The Rock's connection with the audience was so strong, the arenas felt electric. And this made The Rock the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. The most electrifying man in sports and entertainment. That The Rock is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most electrifying man in sports and Number six, millions and millions. When it came to his fans, The Rock didn't need a fancy name for them. They were simply the people, of which there were millions and millions. And millions. In front of the millions. And millions. Of Rock's fans. The Rock stands before you and the millions. Millions and millions. The Rock came out to cool. surprise has millions and millions. the millions of the Rock's fans surrounded by the millions and millions of Rock's fans got in the middle of this ring, the people's ring, in front of the millions. millions. Number five, know your role and shut your mouth. You know a catchphrase is over huge when not one, but two video games are named after it. You should Aww. know your role and shut <laughs> your mouth! Shane, your role, know it. Triple H, your mouth, shut it. The Rock says, you should know your role and shut <laughs> your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> the Rock will team with you boxes. as long as The Rock can get that Olympic goof to know his role and shut his mouth. <laughs> Do two things. And that is, know oh, your, your role and shut, shut your, your mouth. mouth! Number four, finally, The Rock has come back. From the very first line of his promo, The Rock had oh, yeah. the audience in the palm of his hands. The people weren't just overjoyed to chant the name of their city, they were also excited to witness the Great One in all his glory. Finally, The Rock has come back to Atlanta! Finally, The Rock has come back to Montreal! <laughs> the Rock has come back to San Diego. Finally, The Rock has come back to the WWE. 
three oh. best insults. Rock was the king Where's of roasting time? his opponents. As the Rock talk trash about you, yeah, you bet your candy ass he did. It's what the Rock does. Does it better than anybody. So now let's take a look back at some of the Rock's best insults towards other wrestlers. My name's Billy, and I just won King of the Ring. Everybody still thinks that I absolutely suck. Perry Saturn, The Rock's gift to you. The Rock knows that you've got one eye that goes that way and another eye that goes that way. So The Rock will slap that crooked eye straight. Kevin Kelly, you are now Chris Benoit. Smile, jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and find the penis Benoit claims he has. <laughs> Rikishi. <coughs> <I did> <coughs> For the rock. I did it for the people. <laughs> uh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. This coming from a man who oh. took a sacred vow of marriage to the biggest slut in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, 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 please. If anybody knows anything about screwing, it's you. <laughs> Happy birthday to Steph. You're a hoe <laughs> with big breasts. <laughs> Booker T, hair done by Whoopi, shaming man, still a pussy. Booker T and Shane, the punk ass sucker, and the silver spoon mother bugger. <laughs> Guerrero and the Rock in this ring will meet, and when it's all over, the Rock whooping ass on Latino heat. Ay, 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 ay. Paul Heyman doing what? <laughs> Probably laying naked on a <laughs> beach, sitting there watching Brock Lesnar work out like a big fat walrus cheering on Brock. Brock, Brock, Brock. You ain't nothing. You're a hundred pounds of nothing. Five feet, nothing. Hey, it's nothing. He says he knows you. Let me tell you something, brother, and you know, you rip the shirt, and you rackle, 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 rackle. Can you fast forward to that, please? And you need to stop <laughs> dressing like a Soviet streetwalker. <laughs> We're looking at what would happen if a homeless lumberjack banged an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Number two, it doesn't matter. Even when you knew it was coming, it was always funny to hear this line. Simply put, when the great one asks someone a question, the answer just doesn't matter. Bob? It but does. My name's Billy. It doesn't matter what your name is. What is your name? I told you. It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> this is the what man, is your name? Honestly. It doesn't matter what your name is. What was that old lady's name again? I think it was. It doesn't matter what her name was. One. Two. There's two now. Oh, I know them. Oh. It doesn't matter how it makes you feel. No you way, he was screaming at a child. It doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> rock says this. It oh, it matters matter. what the rock says. Oh. <laughs> Number one, if you smell what the rock is cooking. After all the trash talk, oh all the $500 God, shirts, song. all the rock bottoms and people's elbows, there was one catchphrase that perfectly summed up everything that the great one did. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this one, be sure to check out our similar video on the top 10 catchphrases of Jerry the King Lawler. Have a great day and I'll see you what next time. What a great time. video. I saw so many of these in some other like Rock Rose videos, which actually is recommended here. Girl watches what made Rock the most popular wrestler of all time. And it showed some of his talents there as well. These are so legendary. Like they will stick forever as a part of his career and who he is. And I love that he is back now and he is using some of these phrases as well, even as a heel. And it works so perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I will see you in the next one, which is tomorrow. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Liking the video is so important. It recommends it to other people who are not subscribed and I don't get a lot of new watchers. So liking the video would help support me. So thank you so much in advance. Have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye.